confrontation in Charlottesville sparked controversy around the country. You've seen the video, protesters clashing, and it raises the question, what are the rules when it comes to protesting? What are the restrictions against free speech? Last week, the University of Florida canceled an upcoming demonstration that was organized by a white supremacist group. Let's talk about this with local attorney John Phillips. You know, John, the question becomes, is the alt-right, are these white supremacists, these neo-Nazis, using the right to free speech to say the incendiary things that they do? They are. The, the free speech is meant to be more of a shield and not a sword. And that's the problem is we're seeing uh, people use it to engage. And that's, that wasn't the in intention behind the forefathers, you know? It, it's, it, that's the problem, because when you're, when you're using it to cause harm, seriously threaten harm, um, or, or incite, that's, that's not protected speech. And they're also trying to deny the right to free speech to those who don't believe as they do. Correct. We saw that, we saw that significantly locally, and I, and I actually saw the guy that was the provocateur is now in Tampa and got detained for a little bit by police for doing the same thing. Um, it, it's it's kind of the, the, the new way to protest is to get in somebody's face and interrupt their protest. And there's, there should be place enough for both types of speech, um, but both of them claim that the other one's using such hate speech, and it's getting so uh, personal and so, um, the, I guess, conflagrated um, on fire that, that it, it's, it's creating an issue. There, there's a video that went viral on Facebook from Dallas. And you had two disparate groups with opposing views. And it was interesting because the leaders of both groups said, we're coming into this, we want to maintain a nonviolent status, we're going to meet in the middle. And they literally did meet in the middle of the street and they started talking and opened a dialogue. How do we protect free speech? Make sure, and the ACLU has come out and said, those who were there, who were the alt-right, the white supremacy, they do have the right to free speech. But how do we make sure that boundaries are respected? That's just it. And the problem is it puts such stress on law enforcement. Because it's not law enforcement's ultimate responsibility to make sure everybody's abiding by the That's rules. That's our responsibility. It is. It, we're, we're supposed to be following the rules. A lot of people don't know them. But harassment and assault. Assault, you can use, words can cause assault. Um, you know, the level of stalking. And, and any time you've got an unwanted touching. It, it's, it's stuff that, that, that it, if it takes a lot of people going to jail... Um, they're going to say, but, but my free speech, but my free speech. Well, no, no you can't do this. And that's, that's a significant problem, and we're seeing it more and more um, hearkening back to the, to, the, to the 60s and 70s. How do we hold people accountable? I, I guess we arrest them and we sue them. And, and that's not what, that, that doesn't help free speech. That doesn't help two sides come together. But it, it doesn't help, and I, I don't want to make this political, but it doesn't help when our leaders on both sides ha have been guilty of the same, the same thing. Um, and you, you post just a simple picture of Donald Trump staring at the sun and it becomes political. Well, so no, it's, you know, we, we, we're all so tightly wound up, um, and, and that's, that's a problem. Is it as simple as we all step back and we say, you know what, you don't believe as I do, and that's okay if you, if, if you care to have those beliefs but just respect my ability to believe what I want. That's the perfect world, Bruce. Uh, the problem is we don't, we don't often live there, and so the police are trying to figure out where the lines are. And, and, and the issue is they've got to make sure that they're, that they're punishing both sides equally if they're going to start arresting, because otherwise those that are more along the Blue Lives Matter cause and not punishing the Black Lives Matter crowd, you know, it, it's got to be equal. Otherwise, we're going to have more upheaval. And what's a shame is we've really gone back in time, and that's a sad commentary on society.